This is what Judy Austin's friend Sarah posted after the loss of me and you's son. Now, people always say a friend of your enemy is also your enemy, right? Now, if you agree to that, please drop it on the comment section. A friend to your enemy is also your enemy. Now, this same lady is someone that is not in good terms with me because of certain things she has done. And in this period of their grief, at least even the Judy Austin, the stepmother to this boy, have not posted anything. Of course, she has sense. She has not posted anything. But look at what a friend posted said smallest coffins are indeed the heaviest to carry as a parent i can only imagine the pain this would have caused the edoshi family no parent should ever have to go through this and i pray god give the family the strength to bear this irreplaceable loss she went ahead to also tag you he suck you now let's be truthful here if this lady wasn't a friend of judy and she wrote this definitely nobody is going to say anything after all people have been posting you know social media in-laws have been posting people that love the family you no know, they have been posting the death of this boy normally and then bloggers carrying the content creators are carrying now the problem here is this lady is a friend to judy and she is actually an enemy to me. So why are you celebrating this boy? On his birthday, she did not post him. Because this boy's birthday was just like two months ago. She did not come out to celebrate him. So why celebrate him at his death? You get the point? And again, if maybe she was a blogger, even if you're a blogger, as long as you are close to, you know, this family somehow, you have no right to post. Okay? One, this boy's mom is not is not your in fact she is not even your ally talk less of a friend so why go ahead to write this and again these people are grieving for now they are in a moment of loss in fact right now they're even in a moment of denial because right now if something happened to you like this first you will first be praying that oh god this is not true i did not lose my child this is not true before you now finally maybe agree that okay yes you've lost a child even your friend judy have not even posted because definitely judy cannot try it because this is not the time for her to post she have to wait for the parents to post before she can even try to maybe post based on oh she's a stepmom right even though judy does not really have any maybe issues or maybe she does not have hatred for the family and all that people don't even expect her to post so she, she better y'all keep her posting to herself because even right now people are even speculating that maybe she have a hand in it is allegedly like people are thinking because you know what in polygamous homes things happen so people just feel maybe she want to you know quite the boy and all that but i don't think so i am someone that believe that maybe that boy must have had maybe underlying health conditions okay that maybe the parents are aware of okay children don't, don't just collapse like that but you know we are in africa anything is also possible juju can be possible anybody could be after you know the boy it must not be just uh, maybe Judy, you get. But because Judy came into their life trying to maybe destroy their home, people are not looking at her like that. But deep inside of me, I feel that mm -mm, Judy can't do so low to do that kind of thing. I don't know. But because if you talk now, they'll say a woman that can go in and destroy somebody's home, like you know this man is married, like, not, like you has been married for years. We all know, and he has been acting movies, he has been directing movies, you know, you've been working with him. You know he's married, but for you to open your legs. Now, you didn't only open your legs, you decided to get pregnant, and then you not only get pregnant and become a baby mama, you decided to now marry him when he said, okay, we can marry. I'm even sure that maybe you would have just wanted the boy just like that as be a baby mama, but now you go down first and say, no, you must marry him. Let him go and pay your bride price. So when you look at a woman like that, people will begin to insinuate anything. Anything is not possible from you. Somehow I even pity for, you know, Judy because <laughs> she did not know that this kind of thing is going to happen to her. Yes. Because now you carry your leg, go into that place. And you know, we are in Africa. When things like this happen, people will look at it that maybe, and you know that normally, even if you're not in Africa, even if you're abroad, when somebody dies or somebody tried to kill somebody or somebody tried to do something to somebody, they will ask you, who is your closest enemy? <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. They will be asking the person, okay, who is your enemy? Do you have enemies around your office? Do you have enemies around your, your compound? Do you have enemies around your, you know, that's what they'll be asking. 
you get the point so right now judy is like the enemy of me so if mason is just dying mysteriously like this people will be thinking that ah, is it that the judy that sent the whole thing to the boy i cannot think but you know it's speculations nobody is saying oh it's the truth and all that it's what social media people have been saying that oh if you go to comment sections under bloggers that have posted ah you pity for you pity for judy you pity for her because right now i don't want to be in judy's place seriously because right now people will be seen her as maybe a bad person whereas for her, she's not Okay, something just had just happened. People, people die, right? People, people die. Children die. You get every day people die. So it doesn't mean that oh, because oh, this child died or oh, some that, that means that it was uh, the mother's enemy and all that. Anyway, the problem is why did this say that go and post it? This person is not your friend. And again, you are not even you are like an enemy to this person because you are not even in good terms with this person. You are. Uh, Judy's friend, bestie, bestie, you are going to now post. Hmm? If May see this post, now May will start crying all over again. So you see your life. You have no right to go and post because you're not even a friend of the family. And if you're a friend of the family too, you can't even still post because that's what happened to David at that time. David's friend, Enola, she's the first person that talked about Ifain's death. Until today, the video on follow down is angry with her because it's from her bloggers got it and we started posting it. Now, if you're a blogger, even me right now, that's you know, I'm 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 a blogger that I will post gist and all that. If it's my friend, something happened to my friend, maybe I'm close to a celebrity and my, something happened to my friend, I cannot bring it out for the fact that oh, I'm a content creator, I cannot put it out. That gist is not the only gist that will make you rich. Mm -mm. As long as this person is close to you, you cannot bring it out. Same thing if the person is my enemy. I have no right to go and be carrying the person gist. Both of you are enemies like this. You go and maybe the person, something happened to the person's child. You are the first person to go and carry it. No, you will wait for other people to carry it. You know that this matter is confirmed and all that. If I thought you must even carry so me, if somebody is your enemy, I don't think you should be carrying news from that person. That's just the truth. So this person is your enemy, so why are you talking about their family? If the person is even close to you, and for the fact that this person is even Judy's stepson, it's supposed to be like, you're supposed to keep quiet because you know that, oh, you've even had some issues with Judy's, uh, that's uh, Miss, uh May before. You've had issues with her, so you don't have to come out and start posting, you know. Keep quiet. Is it that you are looking for traffic to your channel, to your to your page? Same way, Enola Bad must drag traffic to her page through Ifan's death. And that in pain, the father and the mother. And the video had to unfollow her. So sometimes I just feel that sometimes we use our instinct. As I am like this, I might be a social media influencer now. And something happened to my friend. I can't be the first person to carry the news. And if something happened to my enemy, I shouldn't be the first to still carry the news. That's just it. That's just it. Because why are you the first person? To, why are you why are you among those that are carrying the news safe? Because this person's enemy just oh oh just deep inside you, just oh I I I pray for them. Oh, this loss is not easy and all that. Just go. Because you and this first this weekend, Mama, don't, and I don't get problem before. You are an enemy to her because you are a friend to her enemy. Even though I don't know if May has categorically said Judy is her enemy before, I am not sure. But anyhow, anyhow, like you are an enemy to the family, so you have no right to come and be posted for the fact that he never posted the boy when he was he was alive. Because when he even did his birthday, you did not post. So I think the best thing is you would have just stayed away, not post anything. Or wait for the parents to at least say something. The reason why GIST channels, bloggers are carrying this news is because they are bloggers. Because they are meant to carry news, okay? Anyway, guys, bye for now. Subscribe to my channel. Bye.